In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an animated hamburger that when you click on it, it opens a full screen menu inside of Elementor. Without no more further ado, let's get started. To get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements widget library installed and activated on your WordPress website. Unlimited Elements is a widget library for Elementor with all sorts of widgets that will help you extend the capabilities of Elementor. Today we're talking about the full screen menu, so I'm going to search for that widget. You can do that by browsing the different categories, or you can use the search on the top right. I'm going to write over here full screen and that will find the widget. To install the widget to Elementor, you're going to hover over the widget and click install. The widget has installed to the widgets pane inside of Elementor. So let's jump into Elementor and over here in the widgets pane, I'm going to search again for the word full screen to find the menu. Drag and drop the menu inside of the editor and you will see it over here. Before starting, I'm going to place the widget in fixed position on my page since this is sort of a one page website and I'll want the icon on the top right over here. To do that, I'm going to jump into the advanced tab, click on positioning and change the width to inline auto. Now the widget is not so wide and I can click over here on position and change it to fixed. Fixed positioning allows me to position it, snapping it to the right and to the top. Let's change it to 30 pixels or maybe let's go for 100 pixels from the right and maybe 40 pixels from the top. That looks good. I'm going to click update to save and jump back into content. Let's click on the widget just to see how that works. So what this widget does, it's a hamburger icon that when you click on it, it turns into a close icon and it will show a full screen menu on your page. So no matter what size or what column it is in, it will always expand to the whole page, the menu dialog itself. Let's go over the settings and see how you can edit this. So first one is for the menu itself. This is managed inside of the WordPress dashboard. You can add as many menus and menu items that you want. That's under appearance menus if you're not familiar. So let's select a different menu. I'm going to go for the main menu. Let's click again. And now we can see that we have different menu items over here. Inside of my menu, I also have sub items and I don't want to show these over here. I want only the main items. So I'm going to change the max depth to one. And now you will see that when I click over here, it's showing all, only the main items. Awesome. Alignment is for the alignment of the toggle button. And I'm not going to change that since we used fixed positioning to position the toggle button. If you would not use inline positioning and fixed positioning, then you would be able to change this to whatever you need. For example, if you have a header on your website and you put that in the header. Icon toggle, right now you can see it's using an animated hamburger icon, but you can change that and put your own icons by clicking custom icons. And now over here, I can select one for the hamburger and one for the closed one. So let's turn it back to animated because I really like that. Next part is for the transition and over here we can change the transition. For example, if I want it to fade in bottom, I can select that and click over here and now it's fading in from the bottom, which is really awesome. The last part in the general settings is for social icons. If you want, you can turn on or off these icons over here that you can later manage in the social icons part. There is also a part for templates. Over here, you can load Elementor templates before or after your menu. For example, if you want a logo or some custom buttons, you can create a template and then select that template from the list. 
Over here in social icons, you can delete icons, you can add new icons, duplicate icons, and reorder the icons inside of the list. This is a regular Elementor repeater. Let's jump into the style tab and I'll show you how you can style this. So for example, over here, the hamburger background is blue. I'm going to change that to black. So right now we don't see it too much because it's black on black. But if I close it, you can see that now it's a black icon. You can also round your icon to add some radius and you can also even add a border. So for example, let's just add a five pixel border over here. I'm going to change the border color to white so we can see it better. And now you can see that we have a white border around our hamburger. Over here, we can change the size of the hamburger. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And if you want to make the icon smaller, you can add some padding and that will push the icon inside of its container. So this is looking pretty good. Inside of menu background, you can add a gradient background. You can add a background image if you want to your whole menu over here. Inside of menu items, we have all the typography settings. So if you want to make your text a little bit bigger, for example, I'm going to write over here 24. Now you can see that the text is bigger. We can also play around with this until we get a nice look over here and sub items if you're showing sub items so right now i'm not showing any sub items we don't need that and inside of social icons you can also make these little icons over here a little bit bigger maybe space them out a little bit more and you have the perfect full screen menu on your elementor website without needing to make any pop-ups or any complicated settings i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.